Hi, my name is Kelly Flickiger. I'm the TA for the UCLA Brew and Marching Band. In addition to uh, teaching the drumline during just regular rehearsals and going to the games, I also do some arranging for the shows. Uh, the band does a different show for every single home game. So there's a lot of music that they have to learn and that has to be arranged. Now it goes without saying that there wouldn't be a marching band if there wasn't a football team, at least in this case at UCLA. So first and foremost, we have to do a different show for every single game. And then in addition to that, we also play at basketball games, all the Olympic sports games. Uh, it seems like there's always some sort of sporting event on campus going on uh, to play for. Hi, I'm Patrick Weber, co-section leader of the UCLA Bruin Drumline. Uh, main reason I wanted to come to UCLA was because I knew it was a great school with a great marching band football team, and I knew that if I came to UCLA, I'd get a chance to be a part of uh, all the uh, Pac-10 action, playing, uh, play at a, a big school in a, in a good drumline. Well, one of the great things about being in a UCLA drumline is we're playing in a, a pretty famous venue like the Rose Bowl every week with can pack up to 100,000 fans. Really amazing experience to have that big of a crowd and big crowd response at the end of a halftime show. Hi, I'm Keith Pugh. I'm a co-section leader of UCLA drumline and I've played tenor for three years. I'm a senior right now, so this is my last year and this is the last game for the year, so this is probably my last major drumming experience and uh, I can't think of a better way to end it than playing at the Rose Bowl against our rivals. There's nothing else like marching into the Rose Bowl playing a cadence with 100,000 people watching you. It's one of the best experiences you ever have uh, in a drum line. And as much as I love uh, drumming for the halftime shows, playing the stands is probably just as much fun. Uh, we really help out the student section with the cheers, all the cadences, all the students are dancing around, having a great time. We pump up all the football players too. You can see them dancing around on the sidelines listening to us and it's just a great experience. In addition to playing at the drumline at UCLA, I'm a music major, a third year studying with Mitchell Peters. Uh, it's really great to be doing both because uh, drumline and uh, orchestral percussion are kind of their own thing, but at UCLA I get a chance to, to do both. They don't really conflict too much and so it's a lot of fun studying both. I marched two years at drum corps, one year, uh, or one year at Pacific Crest on timpani, one year at Pacific Crest on snare. In drum corps, you know, you have you know, maybe 20 or 30 shows in a season and you know, you're working all season for every single one of those shows to be just as good as the next. But uh, at UCLA, you know, we're only rehearsing three times a week during the week, and so it's a little different than in a drum corps situation. You're rehearsing, you know, nine hours a day. Um, you don't have anything else going on to worry about, just the drumming. Where at UCLA, you know, some guys coming from class, some guys at finals, midterms, it's kind of a different vibe, and it makes it a little more challenging, I think, to be worrying about drumming and, and school. But, you know, most guys here do pretty well, I think, at, at that. The main difference here at, uh, at UCLA for the marching band in a college line as opposed to uh, a drum corps line is everybody is a student and that's our main priority is that they do well academically in addition to drumming well. Although we practice a lot, we can't practice as much as say a drum corps would uh, to achieve the same excellence level. So we really have to take advantage of the time we have at rehearsal because uh, we don't have any time to waste. So most of our, our drummers are not music majors. We have engineers, people who are pre-med, pre-law, everybody's studying really hard to do that. Uh, but you know, everybody needs a break, and drumming is a great way to get that break, especially from school and midterms and everything. So they get away from that by uh, doing the drumline here.
Like many of the other drummers in our line, I'm not a music major. I played in high school and I realized when I was a freshman, I really missed drumming. And you only have so many years to drum before you age out of drum corps and the other experience, so I really wanted one more chance. And the use of the drum line has been a great experience for me. In the drum line, we're really a tight group of friends. We always have uh, parties after the games. Everyone just has a great time. So it's not just about the drumming, it's also about the relationships you develop within the bands and drum line. One of the great things about being in the drum line is actually band camp starts before school and the drums even start before band camp. So before school even starts, everybody in the drum line has already met all the other drummers, have already made friends before going into college. So by the time school starts, you've already got a little group that you can hang out with and they let you show you around the campus and drum with them, obviously. I strongly encourage high school students out there to check out college marching band. You know, it's different than the high school competitive marching band and competitive drum corps, uh, but we still strive for that high excellence level. So you'll still get that out of it, but you also get the games and the social aspect out of it, and you'll have a great time.